you've probably heard me saying this before over the last few years Milwaukee is trending and that's not great news if you're trying to buy a property but now it's official as of spring 2023 the Milwaukee metro area is one of the top 10 hottest real estate markets in the entire US there are a number of reasons why this is happening and I've already covered this in another video today I want to talk about three particular neighborhoods which are currently the hottest and most competitive markets that we have in the Milwaukee metro area we're going to take a closer look on why they are so popular why buyers are so fiercely competing to get into these neighborhoods and what it might take to successfully get a house on the contract and then at the end of this video I would like to suggest three different neighborhoods that are worth a closer look they are definitely a lot less competitive maybe even a little bit underrated you should definitely keep them on the radar so we have lots to cover today let's get started The Milwaukee real estate market is currently quite hot and competitive almost everywhere. But when you look at the data in MLS, some markets really stand out as hyper competitive and that's our topic for today. When it comes to how hot the market is, the probably most important metric is what we call the list to sale price ratio, which is simply the difference between the asking price on a listing and then the ultimate sales price after the deal closes. In other words, how much under or over list price buyers are willing to pay on average to successfully get a house on the contract. Historically, this metric has been around 95%, which means that on average, buyers were able to negotiate a discount of roughly 5%. Of course, there is always a range, some negotiate more some less but on average it came out to about five percent over the last five years we have seen the sold to list ratio steadily climb up to 97 then 99 percent and finally break the 100 percent mark in july 2020 for the very first time this was totally unprecedented at the time but it really was just a precursor almost like a little test and it set the stage for what was about to come in the following year in the spring market 2021 when things really started taking off and this basically marked the beginning of the new normal for milwaukee's real estate market because it has been like this more or less ever since as of May 2023, the Milwaukee metro area as a whole is at 103% sale to list ratio. But there are three markets that really stand out and we're going to start with number three, which is Whitefish Bay. Whitefish Bay is a relatively small and very affluent community located right on Lake Michigan. Only about 15,000 people live here, which is less than 1% of the entire metro area's population. The entire municipality has only 5,400 houses and not many come for sale. And while most of them are quite old, usually between 60 and 100 years, many of them have already been updated in recent years with top of the line finishes. Whitefish Bay offers a semi-suburban which means it is still very walkable but homes are sufficiently spaced out for some privacy and good sized backyards. The bay has a nice community feel to it that people appreciate a lot. Schools are highly rated and from a location point of view it is very easy to hop on the freeway and get downtown in just minutes. It probably also helps that one of the nicest shopping malls is conveniently located right outside of Whitefish Bay. Considering all this it is no surprise that prices are some of the highest in the area and the market is extremely competitive. People paid in May on average 6.2% over list price which is based on an average $700,000 listing close to $50,000 and that's just the average. This continues a trend from last year. Prices are up 12.8% year to date and larger and nicer homes are breaking now the $1 million mark frequently. Next up, the second most competitive market in the Milwaukee area, which is Wauwatosa. If you're local, this is probably not a surprise to you. With the population of almost 50,000 people, Tosa is several times bigger than Whitefish Bay and it feels a little more urban. Wauwatosa neighborhoods are probably even more walkable than Whitefish Bay and there are plenty of coffee shops to stroll to on a Saturday morning, which explains its popularity, especially with young families who are not quite 
quite ready to give up the urban life yet, but they do want a single family home with a small yard, so Wawatosa it is. Home prices have increased already quite a bit, but they're still quite a bit lower compared to Whitefish Bay, which makes it still affordable for some first-time home buyers. Wabatosa's popularity is also reflected in the data. As of May 2023, deals were closing an unbelievable 8.5% over list price on average, which means some individual deals have closed even higher. Many offers have also very aggressive terms and very few or even no contingencies in order to stand out from the competition. The average sales price is up 9.6% year-to-date and this trend is very likely to continue. And finally, we're getting to number one on our list and this will probably surprise you. West Ellis is currently the hottest market in the Milwaukee area. Buyers have paid in May on average a stunning 10.9% over list price. The majority of the West Ellis market is between $200,000 and $300,000, which of course makes 10.9 over asking a smaller dollar amount than Wabatosa or Whitefish Bay, but it speaks for the popularity of the community nonetheless. Prices are up 11.75% over last year and this trend is probably going to continue. In recent years, West Ellis has seen a lot of change driven by a very business-friendly municipal government. And if you have been following my channel for a while, you know that I've been a huge fan of this growing community, which in my opinion has been undervalued for decades. But it looks like the cat is out of the bag now and prices are on the rise. So those were the currently three most competitive markets in the Milwaukee area with the highest list to sale ratio. At the beginning of this video, I promised you three neighborhoods that are not quite as competitive and in my opinion, worth a closer look. But before we get there, allow me a quick side note on pricing. If this market sounds all crazy to you, you are not alone. Buyers are often concerned that they are quote unquote overpaying and I would like to offer some perspective on this. A home is generally worth what the market is willing to pay for it. And when you have several offers coming in significantly over asking price, then this is, by definition, the fair market value of the house. As a listing agent, the asking price is also part of our marketing strategy and basically a starting point for an auction type market. It already accounts for these types of offers to get to our target price. In many cases, the top three offers are very close together, but unfortunately, there is no silver medal in the real estate market. By the way, if you're enjoying this video, please do me a huge favor and give it a thumbs up right now, which doesn't cost you anything, but it really motivates me to make more videos about the Milwaukee real estate market, and it also helps the channel growing. Or even better, if you know someone who could benefit from this type of information, who might be interested in the monthly market updates, etc., please feel free to share and forward this video. All right, next, let's take a look at some alternatives. Here are three communities that have currently a lower than average list to sale ratio, but have, in my opinion, a lot of potential. These markets allow you to sidestep the hottest competition, but make no mistake, all three are desirable to live and a nice listing will still sell with multiple offers. It's just not that brutal, but you still have to prepare for some level of competition. The first interesting market on my list is Mech One. If you want a larger suburban home on a big piece of land and at the same time enjoy relatively low property taxes, you should take a look at Mech One. Mech One is just north of Milwaukee County and development started in the 1960s, but it was not until the completion of the freeway in 1981 that Mech One became an affluent and really popular alternative for people living on the North Shore but wanting a little bit more elbow room. Especially the southeastern part of Mech One benefited the most from the new freeway, cutting down the commute time to Milwaukee to under 20 minutes, and as a consequence, a lot of homes were developed in the 1980s and 1990s. Home prices range typically from the mid 300s into the 800s and up. Noteworthy is also that Mech One has probably the largest percentage of luxury homes in the area. About 15% of all homes sold last year were between 1 and 3 million. 
Currently, Mech One is one of the better buying opportunities with a sold to list ratio of just under 100%. But this may not last. Real estate values often rise after major construction projects are completed. I-43 is seeing currently a major expansion to a six lane freeway with a number of new exits serving Mech One. Grafton and Port Washington will also benefit from this new project. And once construction is concluded in 2025, the freeway can be expected to have a significant impact on local real estate values. Another community that is currently not as competitive and has, in my opinion, a lot of potential is Franklin. Franklin is a growing suburb with highly rated schools and a population of currently about 36,000 people and still growing. Home values are still relatively affordable between $300,000 and $600,000, with the top end being mostly new construction homes. Franklin has still a lot of undeveloped land left and we expect more new subdivisions with nice homes in the future. Currently, sold to list ratio is at 102.9% and will probably not stay this low. Average sales prices are already up 6.7%. And finally, we have Germantown, which is a smaller community with a population of about 20,000. And this is a smaller community, not on everyone's radar. Germantown has a lot to offer and it also benefits from its location right on I-41, which makes it the gateway town from Milwaukee into Washington County. Property taxes are low and home values range from about the mid 300s to about mid 700s. The top end of the market is mostly brand new developments and also some subdivisions that have been built over the last decade. Sold to list ratio is currently only 100.5%, which makes it one of the lowest in the area. Here is one thing that's worth contemplating. What all three of these markets have in common is that they are clearly suburban in nature. A lot of the housing demand that we currently have comes from millennials who are starting families, forming households, but they are not quite ready yet to give up their urban lifestyle. So they want to live in a walkable neighborhood and they are willing to compromise on the size of the home and the size of the yard. The classic example for this is Wabatosa. As their kids are becoming a little bit older and more mobile, maybe another kid on the way, they will require more space and a lot of today's buyers currently pushing into the urban markets may decide that it's finally time to pack up and move into the suburbs. And by doing so, they will increase demand in those markets for the next years to come. Which leaves us with the question, how can you best navigate this challenging market? The sledgehammer approach with just offering a really high price is often not very successful. A good offer is a well-rounded package that addresses all of the seller's wants, needs and concerns. It takes experience and quite a bit of market insights to anticipate what competing offers might look like. So the offer price you're making is more of a precision landing than a desperately high number. We want the price ideally to be as low as possible, of course, but as a package with favorable terms, it has to be overall the best choice for the seller. You might be surprised how often the highest offer is actually not the winning bid, which often leads buyers to believe that they got beat out by a cash offer and they give up frustrated. In reality, it may have been some of their other terms that compelled the seller to choose a different offer. This is a little bit of a segue and leads me to my suggestion. If you have real estate plans for the next year or so, definitely subscribe to my channel and stay updated with my monthly market updates. The Milwaukee market is currently one of the 10 hottest in the US, but we also have a very strong seasonality. We're just coming out of inflation. We might slip into a recession and we still don't know when rates are going to come down. So there is a lot happening and it will be interesting to see which way our market will be taking in the next few months. If you want to chat with me personally a little bit about your real estate plans and pick my brain, please don't hesitate to reach out to me. I love hearing from you. A lot of people email me after watching one of my YouTube videos. You have my contact information right here on your screen. And you can also find more information, videos and other resources like MLS on my website. And the address is onpointrg.com. Or if you prefer, just send me a text or give me a call. You have my number here as well on the screen. This is my personal cell phone number just don't be surprised when i actually pick up and answer your call because that's what i do and that's all i had for you today thank you very much for watching and i'll see you at the next one